<laughs> yes, the car is driving by itself. It's health and safety is fine. It's pretty good, I would say. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln. Dan is... Hi. Uh, yeah, he's right there. <laughs> um, today we're gonna cut open a Top Golf golf ball. I bet most of you don't know what Top Golf is. It's really cool. It's really cool. Top Golf, if you have not heard of it, it's like bowling for golf. It is pretty cool. It's like a driving range that uses these balls that have some sort of chip inside of it that talk to the driving range to all these targets that are everywhere. Really, really fun. Top Golf has taken over the United States. There are multiple Top Golfs all over. I'll put the number right here because I don't even know how many it is. I think it's like five or six, that's my guess. I think it's like 20. How does the ball know which hole it goes into? Oh, my phone's ringing. We have come to a golf lab. Actually, it's not, I don't know if golf labs are a thing, but this is actually called golf lab. <laughs> so we got the top golf golf balls. We're gonna test and see what your swing speed is and see if that impacts the distance and compare that to some other golf balls. So this is a machine that when you hit a golf ball, it will measure the ball speed, your golf club speed, and all that stuff. The spin, all that. And then it'll come up here on the computer. I know I'm an amazing golfer, but we have our friend Corey, a professional teacher. He knows his golf swing. He is gonna be the one hitting this golf ball. We have a Titleist Pro V1X. This is the ball that I love to hit with. And then we have the Top Golf golf ball. Can you see it on the TV? Oh, look at that. Nice swing, seven iron. Whoa, that's a lot of analytics. That was a lot of data. <laughs> okay, let's hit the other one. Okay. The left, but same. No. Oh, that went further. 13 yards no. difference. That's gonna come from the ball speed, 126 with the Pro V and 119 with the other one. So you lose seven miles an hour. That's probably about what I'd expect. Like you're, that's like, that's a club, maybe a yeah. club and a half yeah. difference. We're gonna do it again and just see. So we have a couple sample sizes, but that's about what I thought. Three times with the top golf ball, three times with the Pro V1X. <laughs> We are finished. Here's the results. We've got them all graphed. This is the three combined. So these are the averages. The red is the Pro V1X. You can see where that top golf ball just kind of died off. Pro V1X had 126 ball speed, but the top golf had 121.2. Eight yards of carry, nine yards total. The spin was slightly lower with the top golf ball. So do you feel like that golf ball, like if you miss hit it, you could tell a difference between the Pro V1? It definitely had a bigger dispersion when I miss hit that compared to the Pro V1X. Okay, there you go. Are you surprised at all by this? Yeah. No? This is kind of what I've expected, but rather than just guessing, now we know. So if you go to Top Golf and you're hitting your irons and it says it's 150 yards, and you want to hit it right in the target to get the most points, make sure that you think about which club you would usually hit and then go down an extra club. What, would you call it down a club or up a club? <laughs> How do you, what's so right verbiage for that? Hit more, club. Hit more club. So what you want to do is use more club than you usually. Maybe increase it by one club. So if you typically would use your seven iron to hit it, say 160, then you probably want to get out a six iron. So get out a six iron and hit that. Now we're going to go cut this top golf golf ball open, dissect it, see what's inside of it, and see if we can find what is the magic that talks to the TV. Right. Magic. It's magic. Here we are. Top golf golf balls. Two top golf golf, golf. balls. Golf top, golf top. Top golf, balls. golf balls. We have a couple of tools. We have this angle grinder. We have this saw. We ah, yeah, saw. yeah, yeah. We are going to cut into it a bit, hopefully not damage whatever's inside of it so that we can take it out and find it. I think it's like a chip inside of the ball and then there's gonna be the chip in like the very center. Let's take this thing apart, find the chip. Oh, what if you like Ooh. dropped a golf ball on side of it? While it's spinning. It's spinning. There it is. Alright, my strategy is to cut all around it but not too deep so that if there is something in the middle, maybe I can get into it with a hatchet and not just cut right through the thing. So we're getting in, buddy. Yay! <laughs> what? Pick it up. Let's see. Look, there used to be a chip right there. Oh. oh. There was something in the middle. I see it. What in the world? Where did it go? I had it, I had it. Look at that. It's like metal layering on the outside. There's a circle and a square. Look at the inside. We did not cut open the actual RFID chip. It's, it's in the middle though. Yep. Look at that. Think we can get that out of there? I think we can get that out of there. How can I get this out of here without hitting my fingers?
Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It was just inside of there. It's just set right in there. Boop. Hard clear plastic. Cut into a bit, but I'm surprised you didn't completely chop through it. I'm surprised it. I didn't chop through it also. That was very There's good it. work by me. It looks almost like tin foil. Yeah. This is what goes through and signals. It says, oh, this ball belongs to Lincoln. It's like, no. So it's really interesting. This does not need a battery. It is just this little tiny foil RFID chip. Part of it was harder than others. Like the bottom part where it was nestling down into it was kind of like softer urethane, you can tell, and then it's harder on the top. So that makes more sense to me now because when we were hitting it, it was really inconsistent, the ball flight of this ball. The urethane is 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 gotta be in a way that they can actually somehow place this in there while it's wet and cool and then let it harden. Um, I would love to see the manufacturing process, like how they actually put this in there. So invite us, Top Golf. Top Golf, if you want us to come by and go down into the belly of your Top Golf place and check it out, we'd be happy to do it. And if you have one near you, or if you've ever been to Top Golf, you should go there. Like it's it's amazing. I love it. Whether you golf or not, it could open your eyes. Let us know in the comments if you've been to Top Golf and what you thought of it. I think it's gonna rain on us. It's um, nighttime. I'm just gonna go do my homework inside so I can get ready for sleep. Lincoln's gonna go do homework. Bye. I hope you enjoyed golf videos. Lincoln's out of here. the dog, the little dog. Oh, I'm out here in the dark all by myself, throwing a hatchet. <laughs>